The gentleman from the 42nd District, Representative Byes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, brothers and sisters in this place and throughout our great state, today we take a moment to recognize and to remember the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His life stands as a monument before us. It is a beacon of hope that we can look to for a man who stood by his convictions in the face of death, who stood by his convictions in the face of trials and persecution. But let us look not at the man for what he stood for, but why he stood for those beliefs. Mr. Speaker, Dr. King was a man of deep faith and conviction. And it is out of that deep faith and conviction of who he was that made him the man to, that withstood the difficulties. It was his faith that we are created, that we are created by a Heavenly Father. And it was that belief, Mr. Speaker, that he took with him to his grave. It is that belief which made him stand up and say, this is not acceptable. Mr. Speaker, it was that belief that we are created and we are created equal. And it is that belief in creation that says we are not just here out of random circumstances. I am created for a purpose. And he believed his purpose was to see the end of segregation. Now, Mr. Speaker, I don't want to belabor the point. We've all heard the speech many times. We know of his dreams. But Mr. Speaker, let's look at some of his dreams. His dream that one day his children would not be recognized or would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. We have come a long way, Mr. Speaker. Thank God Almighty, we have come a long way. But Mr. Speaker, we are not there yet. Even in our society today, we continue to classify people, whether it's in committee reports, whether it's in our programs that we institute, whether it's in redistricting, we decide that we're still going to segregate people based upon the color of their skin and not the content of their character. Mr. Speaker, Dr. King spoke of great things, and we have come a long way, but we have a long way to come yet when truly justice is blind. And we look not as, is that person that we're serving is that a Hispanic person? Is that a black community? Is that a Latino? Is that an Asian? Not looking at the culture of that person, but looking at that person as we are helping our fellow citizens. We are helping Americans. Mr. Speaker, on that fateful day in 1968, when Dr. Martin Luther King was taken from us, he had the opportunity to meet his creator. And when he met his Heavenly Father, I firmly believe that his Heavenly Father was standing there saying, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have run the race. You have fought the fight. You have persevered. Mr. Speaker, that is my hope for all of us here, that no matter what the trials or circumstances we face, that when I get to the end of my life and I breathe my last breath, that when I stand before my Heavenly Father, he will look to me and say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have fought the fight. You have continued the race. You have done well. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I pray that we will continue to work on the great work of Dr. Martin Luther King. Thank you. Further remarks?